Hey everybody, this is your girl Trina and I'm coming to you today with a hair tutorial. Um, this hair tutorial is how to flat iron your um, kinkalon braiding hair. Let me just adjust this just a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, this hair um, is just five packs of Oh, let me start out by saying, if you clicked on this video, you must be eclectic because we are a little bit of everything. Okay, and let's jump right into it. It's not going to be a long video because my hair is already crocheted and I did this um, like at the end of June. So, um, I don't have to do my hair again probably until July, August. Uh, maybe August or something like that, but or the beginning of August or in the end of July. So I'm just looking at my calendar. But anyway, this is the hair that I got. Kinkalon 100%. And it's just your general braiding hair. So, um, yeah. And what I did was I crocheted it. I did my cornrow pattern and I, went all, I just braided it all back. And the piece of strands that was hanging after the cornrow, I, I did add braiding hair to it. Um, I attached it. And I corn rolled it going across and I sewed it up with this kind of needle. I'm just sewing a needle in case you know you haven't seen this type of needle, or in case you don't know what I'm referring to, it will be this type of needle curved. And I have a little piece of thread hanging to it because I use this black thread to sew up let me show you the thread to sew the um the corn rolls in the back. But later on, I'm going to actually be doing it probably from start to finish or maybe um, showing you how to crochet the hair and things like that. But for now, um, I'm just going to be showing you how to flat iron. Now, what I did do originally, if you can see the texture of the hair, okay, it's um, almost, it looks pretty much like your natural hair, okay. Um, I originally um, had to blow dry it first. And um, I, once I installed it, I crocheted it in, I blow dried it, and then um, keep in mind that you do not put the blow dryer on a high um, high heat. I put it on like medium or so, and then I went in and afterwards and flat ironed it. Um, I will admit at first I was a little nervous about the flat iron, but I did see a couple of other tutorials where they said it was okay. Um, this is the flat iron that I will be using. This thing over there. Okay. Um, right now, it's on, let's see, 300, yeah, so you can put it on 250 or in the middle of 250 or 300, depending on what kind of flat iron you have. So I'm just going to jump right in and actually just, I'm going to just flat iron this side for you guys to see, okay? And yes, the edges are on fleek, okay? Yes, hunty. So I'm going to just turn, push this over to the side. And here you can see the braid pattern right there. So I do use this type of brush. Um, I use this brush just to detangle. So I'm going to detangle it like right now. Um, it's not very, what you call it, it's not very, it's not, it doesn't tangle that much, you know. What it does do is get a little frizzy. So I like to just brush just like this and run smoothly through it. And I'm going to take my flat iron. And I start from the top part of it. Oops, getting snagged to my arms. Okay, the top part and bring it on down. Make sure that your heat is at not so high. That way, you know, it does not burn or melt the hair. Okay. So now, I'm going to separate. Now, some people, they actually use um what was I about to say oh no some people they actually they they would take the hair and just like part it in different uh, sections or something like that but I find it to be easier just to go down my braid pattern okay I hope you guys can see that just my braid pattern okay I find it easier to be, have easier access and most of the time I do clip this to the side it doesn't keep falling back so I'm gonna do that for you guys there we go and then we're just gonna flat iron. We're gonna brush first. Okay. And flat iron. 
and most and, and do not stay in one spot too long okay because like I said you're gonna you will burn the hair and that's not something that you want to do and sometimes I do do like a little swerve under hope you guys can really see this I like curl it over a little bit just to give it a little bounce and then I brush okay I'm gonna take another section I'm just gonna do this whole little section right here unclip it take the clip out baby baby you're my sugar <laughs> I like that song and that is I'm just airy and she has a YouTube channel as well so here I go I took that section I hope this is looking easy for you guys because it's constantly getting my in my eye but I'm trying to make sure that I'm letting y'all see the video okay I'm going to brush it out and now I got the cavity okay here we go now we're gonna flat out in that part and when I get finished the flat I'm gonna let you see the difference like from both sides how this is gonna be looking slayed and laid and the other side is probably gonna be looking just a little bit you know I don't know what the word is for it. Um, okay, and this is the last section that I will be doing. Right here. I'm going to brush it out. Okay, and here you go. This is the way it's going to get. You don't stay at one spot too long. You just run through it. And curve it at the end so that you get a little too little bounce. Okay. Now I'm gonna brush this side down so that you can see the difference. Now, mind you, I do have a side part, but you could actually see the slickness of this side versus this side. Okay. But you know, that's how you do it. And um, stay tuned because I will be doing a lot more um, hair tutorials. Um, the braid pattern how to sew it at the end oh i'm looking in the right direction of this camera because i really keep looking at the actual visual of it anyway this is like my first time really doing youtube guys and um i just you know i figured hopefully this helps somebody as far as the the um, flat ironing goes um once again please like comment and subscribe down below and tell me what what other content you would like to see okay because um <laughs> Tonight, me and my husband should probably be doing um, a night routine and the Kiki Do You Love Me challenge. Um, he's he's going to be dancing it. It's probably going to be the funniest rend rendition. But um, anyway, he's probably going to be doing that. So I hope you enjoyed this um, quick hair tutorial. There will be a lot of others and fast, like more longer ones. But um, tune in. Tune in again for, for more uploads. And I um, will be uploading every day. And tonight, please tune in. Um, when he do the night routine, what he do not know is that I will be pranking him. Okay? And it's going to be the flower prank.